What's good, BitRushers? My name's D5Brains, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be the first of many in a series of how to create NFT comic books. I'm going through the process myself, and I thought I'd document it and put together a bunch of resources to help anybody else who may be interested in creating a comic book and turning it into an NFT should be noted that if you're looking to create a physical comic book that doesn't turn into an NFT, you can still use all of the resources and all of the videos in today's guide and in the series. And you can just skip the last step of turning it into an NFT, so it'll still hopefully have value for you. It should also be noted that if you're watching this at the time of release, You'll need to sub to the channel and turn on the bell to be notified as future videos drop. And if you're watching in the future, there will be a playlist linked in the description below. So just go ahead and find that playlist and all of the videos available will be automatically added to that. And today's just going to be the overview where we go through the process. I do have some really great resources for you to help plan out your comic book and how to get it into an NFT. So if that all sounds good, let's go ahead and get into that content. All right, and just real quick for anyone who's new around here, you can also follow my brand, my company, the Abraxas DAO. It's a community for creators looking to create NFTs. If you need help with artwork, smart contracts, marketing, anything like that, go ahead and follow us over here at Abraxas underscore DAO. And you can also join up the Discord if you want to talk to like-minded people and find all of those resources available. It is discord.gg forward slash Abraxas and links for both of these will be in the description below. I also have an NFT mentorship program so if you guys need that extra level of service go ahead and join up and let me know and I'll tell you how you can join that. All right so linked below will be the creating an NFT comic uh, overview right here it's a little checklist that I put together and you guys can just click on download and download this yourself print it out if you want and just go through and check everything essentially I've broken down everything into the parts and put a checklist for everything you're gonna need to do or you're gonna need to plan out and I did this for myself just to kind of keep myself on task and focus and make sure I have all of my pieces of the puzzle as I listed here um, in order and so hopefully this will be helpful to you as well so the first thing you're going to need to do is to get a writer. Um, you're going to need to come up with a story and this doesn't have to be like a flushed out full, you know, perfectly written or anything like that. It can just be a really rough idea of what you want to happen. And in the future in the writer video, I'll go through and I'll give you another resource to help you guys with that. The second thing you're gonna to need to do is to turn your story into a script. So if you guys are writing the story yourself, um, you know you can do that or you could hire someone to write the story. Then there's also script writers. So if you're not a script writer, um, you might wanna hire someone to turn your story into a script. However, it's fairly easy to do that as well. You just need to come up with the dialogue and what's in the scene and everything like that. So again, we'll have some future resources that will help you guys with all of this in that future video on writing. And then the third thing you're gonna to need to get is the editor so you might be the editor yourself just going through and finding any mistakes or you know changing things so they sound better or you could possibly hire an additional person to be the editor for you next and possibly the most important thing for a comic book at least is going to be the artist or artists um, the first thing you're going to want to do is just start out with some sketches or thumbnails just rough ideas um, generally what's going to happen in each frame or what's going to happen in your comic book the next thing you're going to want to do is find someone who's going to do pencils and inks a lot of time this will be the same person but not necessarily sometimes different artists only do the pencils other ones only do the inks so just find someone that you know can do all of these things that you need done or individuals for each one of these tasks and once you have the pencils and inks you can also get some shading done again a lot of people a lot of artists will do all three of these the pencils and inks and shading all in one you just need to ask them there might be a different fee or different levels of fees for these things but it's important to get all of these done and in addition to that you can do coloring so again some of the artists will do all four of these pencils inks shading and colors others don't do colors and you'll need to find an additional artist to color and other artists only color and don't do inks or anything like that so it just depends who you're working with but um, you are going to need all of these things and it's great to have you know different people to do different things because you have more names on your comic book more people to help you promote so just something to keep in mind there and finally, once all of your art is done, you are gonna need someone to add in the letters. This is the text and the dialogue and the narration. Typically, this is done by someone different than who does your 
um, actual drawings and your coloring. However, some artists, again, will do all of these things. So you need to just find someone, if that's what you're looking for, that can do everything. Otherwise, just hire out individually for, for all of these different pieces. And finally, the cover or covers. Some people who do the inks and coloring will also do covers, but generally you find a different artist and a lot of artists will do only covers or only like big style 11 by 17 prints and things like that. So you can find some really great artists there and the cover is what sells the comic book. So you wanna make sure you find someone really great who's gonna do a really good job on that. And you also have the possibility if you're doing physicals, um, you know, with your NFTs, if you're gonna print them out, or even if you're doing NFT versions, it might be a cool idea to have variant covers and essentially what this is is just different covers from different artists and they make them more rare if they're done in limited editions so that's something to think about as well that maybe you don't want to just have one cover maybe you want two or three or multiples um, we've seen some big brands out there do like 10 20 different variant covers each with the different artists so just think about that and another thing to consider with this is possibly bringing on a bigger name artist that's going to really help you sell and have like a collectible value where someone might seek out that specific variant cover because of that artist because they follow that artist so again this is just a personal preference for you guys as you're creating but just something to consider which is why we do have it on the checklist and again, I'm going to do another video on the art section and, you know, each one of these sections will be its own video. So we'll go in depth into each one of these and I'll have lots of great resources to help you guys along the way for all of these steps. Once you have all of your art done, um, the next thing you're going to need is some sort of designer. You might need a designer to help you with a logo. Um, you might also need some layout help, um, just putting different, you know, things on different pages and how they all look and line up and putting it into a PDF and getting the right DPI dots per inch for print versus for digital, depending on which way you are planning on releasing or if you're planning on releasing both, you are going to need both of those two different PDFs designed. You also have like non art pages, which are like the credits or, you know, the intro or different things like that. So there's a lot of different things that a designer can help you with to lay everything out and get it right. And we already talked about the formatting, getting, you know, the DPI and the different color schemes, red, green, blue versus the CMYK, which is seeing magenta, yellow and black. So if you hire a good uh, designer, they'll know all this stuff already. If you just tell them what the format is, like I need one for, you know, web digital reading and one for print, and they'll know how to put it all together and do it the right way for you with all the proper settings and everything like that to make sure that your stuff does look great. And finally, covers again. So even though we've already got the art done for the cover, you're also going to need someone to kind of do the layout, to put the logo on it, to put the names of the people involved, to do, you know, if you have a publisher or whatever brand you're launching under, if it's your own brand, you'll probably want all of that on the cover, the back cover. Maybe you have a little bit more information about your comic or things like that. You have the front inside cover, the back inside cover. So there's a lot of different moving pieces here that a designer can help you put together. And then moving on to publishing, again, if you're planning on publishing to print, you will need to find someone that can print these. There's a lot of great resources for that, and we'll cover that in a future video. And then digital PDF version, especially if you're launching out as an NFT and you want it like unlockable or downloadable, you're going to need it in that PDF format. So you may want to consider putting it in both. That's personally what we're doing here at the Braxis DAO with ours is we are going to release them digitally as an NFT. And you'll also be able to claim the physicals. And then we're also going to try to get our comic book um, with a different variant cover, like a retail cover into some of the local comic shops and sell them at comic cons and things like that. So we will have a printed version, physical hard copy version of our comic as well. So we'll be looking to do both of these. There's a lot of great people out there that can help you publish, um, you know, different indie comic books. And if you're like someone that's maybe a bigger name celebrity or something like that, possibly you could even get picked up by one of the big publishers. And finally, moving on to the NFT portion. So again, if you're just creating a comic book, you can do all of this stuff and just leave out this last step if you don't wanna create an NFT. However, most of you guys watching this video are probably looking to turn your comic book into an NFT. And to do that, you're gonna need an NFT image, what the person sees when they mint. This could possibly be the cover, but it doesn't have to be. You could have a different cover when they download it and they get it in a different like image as the actual collectible NFT. So that's personally up to you how you want to do it just preference there 
you're also going to need some sort of marketplace or smart contract now if you're using a marketplace you probably don't need to worry about these other two right here um, it's just a matter of preference you could use like OpenSea or Rarible or one of the other you know number of NFT um, marketplaces out there that you could launch out of or if you're doing your stuff yourself you're going to need to come up with a smart contract to mint and possibly to burn or even to claim those NFTs you'll definitely need a dApp and we have that down here but yes yeah, so it's just something to think about and consider how you're planning on launching and how you're planning on getting this out to the people and the final thing is going to be storage here um, you know most likely you want to store on IPFS which is like an immutable blockchain storage if you're doing NFTs however it is also a possibility to just have it on some sort of cloud service or something like that that's never going to go down again I'll leave that up to you guys and we'll cover all the different options in that future video personally I really do like IPF storage especially with like pinata.cloud which is free up to a certain number of megabytes if you're a smaller project and finally, the DAP. This is where people are going to go to actually purchase your NFT um, comic book. So if they want to buy it, they're going to mint it. That's the purchase process. And so having a DAP, that you know, website where they can go, it's a decentralized application, and you know, put in their Ethereum or Polygon or whatever chain you're launching on, and then get their NFT back. You also have the possibility if maybe you want to have it burnt to be able to claim. So you would need a DAP for that as well, where they can go in and claim it. Possibly a DAP on your website where they can, they can get the digital PDF so it's not just available for anyone who you know can see it and click on it um, for only people who actually own it and go in and verify using web 3 that they actually do in fact own this NFT and then you give them the ability to download that NFT as a PDF so again guys there's a lot of different options and we will cover all of this in that future video but this is essentially the checklist of everything you're gonna need to get started from start to finish um, again I put this together for myself to kind of like map everything out and make sure I'm staying on task so hopefully you guys will find this useful and today's video is really just the overview so we'll do a video on each one of these different sections here some of these we may have like multiple sections depending on how long the videos get so look forward to those videos in the future um, they will be added to the playlist for the NFT comic book series. You can find that on my channel or linked in the description below. And if you're watching this in the future, it may already be filled out and those videos may already be done. And again, guys, if you need any help at any point in this process, you can join up my Discord chat. That's what we're there for. It's a community for people who are helping to create NFTs. Not necessarily specifically comic books, but that's what I'm doing. So I'll be able to help you guys along with the process. So join up the discord.gg forward slash Abraxas and make sure you follow us for all of the stuff that we're launching through our brand at Abraxas underscore Dow on Twitter. Right now we're working on a pumpkin comic for my first NFT project that I launched, the Crypto Pumpkins. We have that near completion as far as the story and the script. And we're now working on the art portion. I do hope to have that out by September or early October for download for you guys to be able to read my comic and also physicals mailed out definitely before Halloween. We're also going to be adding to the story and having a bunch of different characters and things like that with their own story. So really look forward to that. Um, if you guys are interested in like Halloween style comic books, this is going to be something really cool series moving forward. where We're going to expand out the IP and be really interactive with the community. And that's basically everything overview video of creating an NFT comic book. Again, guys, if you're just creating a comic book, you can skip that last step. But for most of you are looking to launch on the blockchain and get your comic book into an NFT. So just look forward to those future videos. Make sure you sub to my channel with the bell on to be notified as those videos drop. Thank you guys again for watching my channel. If you enjoyed it, please do tap on that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. You can find links in the description for everything I talked about in today's video, including that free resource guide, as well as all of the links to my channel, my Twitter, my Discord, all that good stuff there will be below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.